Did you know how to highlight a row in a given table in Tableau? If not, then this tutorial is for you. In one of my previous tutorials, I talked about how to conditionally format the text cell color or the background of the given cell within a table in Tableau. Today's tutorial is an extension of it where I am going to talk about another useful Tableau technique on how to highlight an entire row in a given table in Tableau based on a selected criteria. So without any further delays, let's get started and see how we can achieve this in Tableau. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from DataWiz Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn another useful Tableau technique on how to highlight an entire row in a given table in Tableau. So as you can see in this particular dashboard, I'm connected to Sample Superflow dataset and I'm showing sales and profit values based on the category and subcategory. And here we are highlighting the rows based on the profit benchmark value. So as you can see here, all the rows which are highlighted have profit benchmark less than $10,000. We can change this based on the parameter and we can say, let's say, 2000 or 20,000 and when we press it, it will change the rows that are highlighted and we can change the value to whichever value we want and dynamically all these rows will be highlighted. So how we can do that? So let's create a new worksheet and in this I'm already connected to Sample Superstore data set for Asia Pacific region. So what we need to do is simply create a table first. So we will start with bringing category, subcategory into the row shelf, and then we will bring profit and sales value. So I will bring profit and sales value. So you can see the table is created, right? So what I will do again, so I will bring the sales value to the row shelf, and I will change it into a oh, discrete value. So once we have this table, now I will want to highlight it based on the profit value. So first of all, I will create a profit parameter. So we will say select profit benchmark. And we will select integer value. And by default, we can keep it 10,000 or whichever value you like. And then we will create a calculation on profit value and we will say profit benchmark and we will say if sum of profit is equal to or greater than or less than or equal to selected profit benchmark so I have created two because we are using the same uh, workbook so I just created duplicated one but yeah let's let's select either one of them and click OK and then we need to create placeholder fields. And here you can see there are four different columns in the table, right? So we will have to create four different placeholder fields. We can create a calculated field, or in this case, I will simply double click on the column shelf and type in one. And once I do that, you will see by default, it will create a measure for one and say sum of one. You can keep it as it is, but normally I prefer to use minimum maximum value. So it gives me the proper maximum value of that one, which we will use zero to one in this case. And now I will edit the axis by simply clicking on the axis. And a pop-up window will appear where I will change the values of the axis. So once I do that, once it appears, we will change the excess value so here you go and we will change the range from automatic to fixed and we will do 0 to 1 and you will see the complete bar is created from 0 to 1 for profit value and we will go to tick marks and change the major tick mark to none and same with the major minor tick mark to none and once we do that we close that window and you will see here the complete bar is created for one of the measures, which is profit. And we will create 
the same thing for other three columns. But before that, I will change the size and make it to maximum. And you will see here, this entire field is highlighted. So that way we can, if we want just one or two measures or dimensions to highlight it, we can do it that way. But in this case, we want all of them to be highlighted, right? So I will simply press Command key in Mac or Control key in Windows and drag this field. And I will create four similar fields like this because we want four different columns, category, subcategory, sales, and profit. So I will keep it as, as it is. And I will edit the axis for all, all of them like this and change the range to fixed and change the tick marks. So just bear with me, it's my Mac is a bit slow today. So we will change the range for from automatic to fixed and I will go to the tick mark and change everything, all the minor and major tick marks to none. And then I will increase the size as well for next one, which is already maximum. So which is fine because we duplicated that placeholder field. And I will do the same thing for all the X's. And once we do that, another window will pop up and we ch make changes to the range and we make changes to the tick marks and close that window and then we have the last one where we'll be doing the same thing changing the range and then we'll be updating the tick marks as well so with this process it's it's really easy to highlight any of these measures or dimensions so i will show you in a second how we can do it for dimensions as well we just need to bring the dimension or measure values into the text shelf. So if you see here, all of these four columns have the same numbers because all of them have the profit values in the text mark. So what we will do, we will go to the first placeholder field and we will change it with the category. Instead of showing the profit value, we will drag the dimension and put the profit value, uh, category value into the text label. And you will see here, furniture came through in our first placeholder field. Then we do the same thing for second column. And instead of category, now we will bring subcategory into the text mark label. And then for the third one, we will bring sum of sales. And the fourth one, we already have profit, so we will keep the profit as it is. So now you can see all of these values are highlighted. And we don't need these dimensions here because they are already populated in these columns. So what I will do, I will simply click here and uncheck the show header field. And once we do that, you will see all the field labels are there. Now, if you see, there is no headers for these columns. So in order to create headers, we will have to duplicate these placeholder fields. So I will drag it again, and you will see again another column is created. And I will do the same thing, edit the X's for this one, and change it to fixed. And here I will add the title. So I will say category in this case, and change the tick marks again to none for both major and minor tick marks. And you will see another column is created with one value in all the fields. This is because in this one, there is no text label. So here I will bring the category into the text label as well. And you will see it is showing same value in both these columns. So I will simply go here and create a dual axis. And then I will right click on the axis and create synchronized axis. You will see something like this because the charts are changed into circle, but instead of this, we want bars. So I will select the bars. And now you will see here the label is created at the top. And I will edit the axis for the bottom one, and I will remove the axis title in this one and delete it. And the bottom axis label will be gone. 
So we will do similar thing for all these four column fields and we will edit the axis for all of them like this and then we will create a dual axis and synchronize all of it and edit the title which in this case we will put sub categories and simply create a dual axis again for this one and synchronize the axis and we will hide the text title for max one we don't need this so we will hide that so that will be gone and let's create the last two columns quickly and i will try to create it together and just add an axis in this case this is our sales value and we will change it to one and change it to sales and we will do the dual axis and i will synchronize it again and edit this one and remove the title from here it's just a repetitive step so once once you get a hang of it you can quickly do that and so we are left with our last column which is our profit value and we will say profit and change the range from zero to one and change the tick marks to none and the last one let's do the dual axis and then create a synchronized axis and hide our axis title for the bottoms bottom axis so that way you can create the labels as well so now we have created the labels and now we need to highlight the rules right so first of all i will select all the values from here and then we'll use the profit calculation which we created so let's check where is that calculation so profit benchmark calculation so i will bring that into the color label so once i bring it to the color label you will see the colors are highlighted we can choose different colors whichever you want so in this case what we can do like i will choose green color for the true value and for the false value i would like to keep it white so I will simply use white color okay and press ok so you will see only these fields are highlighted and another thing you might notice see the labels are not clean because when we created the new placeholder field for the labels we forgot to bring the actual values because it's still showing one at the background so we need to bring, I will just click this one and bring subcategories into the text label and you will see this is fixed. And we'll do the same thing and bring sales into the text label. This will be fine. And the last one is profit value, bring into the profit labels and this looks fine. And now we just need to do a little bit of formatting with our borders. We don't need to show border for headers. So it can look something like this. We can format the heading values. We want it bold and let's say 12 for the headers. It looks pretty good. And same way we can format the labels in the table. So we can increase it to 10 and maybe a bit darker. So that way you can see it here. And in the edit axis, <coughs> So I will simply edit the axis here because there are zero and ones are appearing here, which I don't need. And this looks like it's because of the labels, the tick marks, which I forgot to remove it from here. So now it will be fine. And the same one we needed to do for this value. And then it will look the way we want it. And now what we can do, we can simply bring it in the dashboard and let's increase the width and let's say we want it 1600 width we bring it here and you can see <coughs> cancel i just don't want this value and i will add the filter or parameter which we have created so select the profit benchmark so i will say 2000 
it will change so actually this is the other benchmark which we created so we need to use the one which we created in this one which is select the profit benchmark so if we say 10,000 this is how the rows will change you can keep it to 2000 and you can see how dynamic it is and it can highlight the all the rows uh, based on the selection criteria similar to what you can do in excel i hope you guys like this tutorial and if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me and you can also drop a comment in the section below and we'll see you next time thank you